Hey, welcome, my friend. It is Monday morning. Another Monday morning. Excuse me while I put this down. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and ready for a new week. Make some progress. And three weeks ago, I can't believe it's been three weeks, we started on this journey. Being that we're going to get prepared for next year, we've got to be proactive and start now. We talked about um, this book right here, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. It sold over 15 million copies. And, well, I can't keep track of how many languages it is in now. But it is such an excellent book. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. But if you have, it's a perfect time to review those habits. Now, three weeks ago, we started off with the first habit of be proactive, meaning we have to take responsibility for our results. And if we start early and we prepare and we implement, then we are not going to have any problem with, um, well, being responsible for our results. Then the following week, we hit habit two which is begin with the end in mind. Remember, everything is created twice. First, in our vision, in our mind, in our thoughts, and then the physical uh, creation, for lack of a better term. It's still early on Monday. I should take another drink of my coffee. But remember that our thoughts become the blueprint of what we want to have or make happen in our life, both personally and in our career. So the second habit, begin with the end in mind. And then this coming Wednesday for after the coffee, we're going to be hitting the third habit. And that is put first things first. Prioritizing. You know, we can time manage all we want, but there are some things in time management that, well, limit us strictly to a clock. And that's not really how time management works anymore. That's old and out the window. And on this Wednesdays, after the coffee, I'm going to be sharing with you several ideas on how to reprogram your thinking around time management. Right? I mean, i I attended time management seminars so so long ago I don't even care to to share but so much has changed and it's in the seven habits you're going to find out the difference between the compass and the clock and what is more important than time interesting right so I hope that you will join me on Wednesday for After the Coffee, so you can get some of these exciting insights from Stephen Covey, and it's out of his uh, current revision of the seven habits of highly effective people. So with that being said, I hope you've got your high-powered go juice so that you can tackle this week and make a difference. I will see you on Wednesday for After the Coffee. And in the meantime, as always, lead well, my friend. Oh, I don't know what I'd do without this stuff. I really don't. I don't. Cheers.